Hello guys, welcome to another review. Tonight I want to show you another purchase that I made. Uh, before the new year I uh, I have found a bargain uh, on the internet as, usu as uh, usually. Uh, I like uh, searching for something especially for the electronics, for the computer parts and all of that. Uh, the motherboard that we have right here in uh, front we have the uh, is the Gigabyte EX uh, 58 Extreme. Uh, the Extreme edition uh, looks different than the, what you can see right here. Uh, the seller uh, removed the original heatsink. Uh, it had something rounded, uh, rounded shape, more like uh, on this uh, heatsink instead of this one. And right here, uh, on top, it had two pipes, so you can use the water cooling on it. But what what uh, what you have right here is the um, the heat sink from another motherboard, X, uh, EX58, uh, uh, other other model. Um, anyway, uh, this is how she looks like. Uh, this motherboard uh, I have bought it uh, on a bargain, uh, very cheap. I paid uh, 20 euros for it, and uh, the motherboard, according to the seller, was faulty. Uh, I'm going to explain more in depth uh, what exactly the motherboard and uh, the diagnostic uh, has. Uh, as you can, as you probably know, uh, this motherboard has uh, the LEDs right here. Uh, this means when, uh, whenever uh, she is feeling that uh, something is not working properly, uh, it will post right here uh, the numbers and the code. Uh, this code, if you search on the internet on the or the official website. Uh, you'll find out that the uh, it actually means something. Uh, either is the problem with the memory, the processor, or other issues. It will uh, give you right here these, uh, the error that is having. Uh, that is having pardon. Anyway, we have the lot of Sara right here. The blue ones right here. Uh, uh, I believe this one is for the. Uh, 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 G Sara, of course, and uh, uh, this one we have the um, two, four, six, eight, and ten. We have ten uh, Sara connections. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the. Um, um, of course, uh, it does have the USB uh, 3.0. Yeah, so you can make an idea. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, going back to what I said before, uh, the motherboard uh, when I brought it home and. Uh, 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 put it in function and see how he actually uh, how she behaves of course uh, it will uh, show me all the time that I had uh, right here the C1 error uh, when I did when I did my research because um, before buying things and uh, uh, I do do um, I do make my research uh, for the components to see if it's uh, repairable or not uh, some end users um, uh, probably they're not uh, uh, they're not aware of the issue and probably want to uh, get rid of these uh, things and all of that. Anyway, uh, the the motherboard when I put it in function uh, with the processor Xeon fifty five thirty, yes, the processor the old processor that I have, uh, it will show me right here C one C one according to what I uh, read on the internet and uh, all the manuals that I have found that are possibly found. Uh, it means one thing, the memory is incomparable with the motherboard. So all you have to do is just use another uh, memory module in order to make it work. But not in this case, because the motherboard had another problem. It, it didn't have a short in South Bridge because 99% uh, of, the, of, the, of the problem of the motherboard in general, according to the engineer that I'm uh, uh, repairing my, uh, all my electronics uh, there, the, especially the motherboards, he said 99% of the problem is the short in South Bridge. So not in North, uh, North Bridge, because the North Bridge is very hard to, to destroy it, according to what he said. I'm not exactly sure if, if this is true or not, but uh, this is what he informed me about. The motherboard, the desktop motherboard, uh, of course. Yeah, not the laptops uh, ones. Anyway, so... Uh, the C1 was present all uh, all the time here. I I did reset the BIOS by removing the battery all the time, 
He does have the jumper for the CMOS. And he also has the dual BIOS because the Gigabyte, as we all know, he has uh, dual BIOS. And if so something goes wrong, uh, the the second BIOS will have to take the uh, the error and then solve it and see if he actually uh, recover uh, the corrupt BIOS. I mean the first one. So right here we have the M and the B BIOS, as you can see, and. Uh, uh, the motherboard uh, had another problem. He said your Xeon, according to engineer, he says your processor Xeon is uh, is burnt or something. And uh, at first I didn't believe that. I said when I tried the processor on the other motherboards, of course the Xeon processor was uh, working, was in fully working condition. Anyway, so I uh, I took it to the engineer and uh, kept it there for two weeks or so and the problem guess it was the BIOS faulty the both BIOS chips the M M BIOS and B BIOS were both faulty I'm not sure how exactly happened because the seller uh, didn't tell me uh, exactly what the motherboard he said he had a short by the power supply and uh, after that, the motherboard uh, will not start properly anymore. So, yeah. So, the engineer just uh, removed the two chips. As you can see, it has flux right here in this area. I don't know if you can see, but it's right here. The flux here, flux here. He removed the both chips and write the uh, proper BIOS. And right now, the motherboard starts completely fine. Of course, I did remove the uh, the processor right here. It doesn't have the band pins or anything like that. It has the i7-920 and the synchro memory that is 1 GB 1333 MHz. Yeah. And now I'm going to make you a demonstration. Let's turn the power supply on. We have the power button and the reset for right here. As you can see, C1. And then after that, it's just moving to another numbers. And the computer is booting up, FF, it means there is fine. And this is how she... How she's looking with booting, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, in the future, if you somehow manage to find uh, a board, uh, pardon, uh, a motherboard like this one, like the Gigabyte, the Extreme Wars, or another model, uh, EX58, uh, and if it, if it has these kind of problems, uh, you, you can make an idea um, how I managed to, to put it in, uh, in, in fully working condition just by uh, writing the BIOS, uh, the proper BIOS uh, chips uh, right here. Yeah, anyway, uh, be careful not to be scratches anywhere and uh, the heatsink in this area not to be damaged. I mean, just... Uh, Try to be very careful when you're actually buying it because the seller, it won't tell you much about the problems that it has because probably it doesn't know or probably is not well informed about the issue that it's having. Yeah, anyway, I hope this uh, video was very uh, was helpful for you and uh, if you find it uh, helpful, please uh, hit, uh, uh, um, hit the like button and uh, see me see you in the in another video. Pardon. I do apologize for blah 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 things. Anyway, thank you for watching once again and see you in another video. Bye.